Hi, I'm Todd with Whole Latte Love, and today we're going to take a close look at the Della Corta Mina. This is a flow control machine, excellent for consistency, brews great shots, and there's a lot that it can do. But today's video is going to take you into the controls, explain all that a little bit into the app, and show you what that does. We'll do another video that goes much deeper into the app, uh, but the key thing here is to break the mystique. What is this machine really all about? So I'm just going to start at one side and work our way around. So over here, we have your steam knob. Pretty basic. And over here, I'm going to start go through all these little lights here and what they do. Uh, the first, this is the control knob. This is a selector knob. And you notice when I move it, turn it, the light moves. So over here, that puts this one cup button in control of this knob. I turn it there, the two cup button. And what I mean by that is you push it, it'll start the pump, it'll run through its profile, and then it'll shut off automatically. And you can always shut it off yourself if you want to. Over here is your hot water. And the water comes out of here. Push it, water comes out, push it to stop it. You can also program this to dispense a certain amount of water each time. So in case you want to make an Americano every morning, it makes it easy. Over here, this is the second hot water button. Or if you use a, what they call a milk control system, which is auto frothing system, another steam one you put on, it goes in control of that. But right now, it's just hot water. Over here, you see it looks like a lever. That puts you in control, the lever in control. And you notice the light there, so you go through different profiles, the light will move, or different flow rates. There's five that the machine can have. And this over here, if you go over there, if you push and hold this button, it'll do a complete boiler drain. It'll take all the water out of the steam boiler, and then it'll replace it, and the heat back up. That's good to do about once a week. Keeps all fresh water in there. If you do it more often, it's not going to hurt, but it's probably not necessary, because you're going to use a good quality water filter with the machine, right? Right. Uh, other things about this, now let's say you, uh, you brew your coffee here, you can take the lever and you can go down like that and it does a quick flush. We always want to do a flush when you're done brewing your coffee, get some of the old coffee grounds out of there, it helps keep it nice and clean. And so if you're in either one of the one cup or two cup modes, that'll flush your group. If you're in the lever mode, you push that and that'll flush your group. Now down on the bottom here, you have a main power light. Over here, you'll have your boiler light. That shows your brew boiler is up to temperature. There's your steam boiler light. So your steam boiler is up to temperature. Whenever the steam boiler has to fill, that light will go on. That shows you're hooked up to Bluetooth. And that one's a warning light. If that light goes on, you can go into the app and you can check and see what the warning is about. Now on top here, we have your brew pressure gauge. This is not a pump pressure gauge. And so you see it's going up now. That's just going up because there's pressure in there from the water heating. You notice when I put this down, it drops right down to zero again. Um, down here, we have a steam boiler pressure, and there's your pump pressure down there. So see, put that up, goes right up. We have the setter on nine, almost nine bar. Now, to program your shots or program your hot water dispensing, here's what we do. Normally you do this when you have coffee in the porter filter, of course. I'm just going to do it here for demonstration purposes only. Uh, so you just set it to your one cup, push and hold. When the light starts to flash, you push it again. It runs the amount of water. When you get the amount that you want, push it, stop it. Now it'll remember that amount. Uh, works the same way for the hot water. Just push and hold, spent your hot water and push it again to stop it, and you have that memorized. So as we all know, maintenance is really important, and you can back flush this machine. You take your, your back flush disc, you put it in there, comes with a tablet, put that in the group, turn the selector knob till you get to the yoke position, and then you push and hold this for about five seconds, and then it'll go through a nice back flush cycle automatically. And when it's done, just take the handle out, run some water through it, clean out all the, uh, the shower screen, and you're good to go. So that's that's the basics of the machine. I know it went pretty quick, uh, but now we're going to get into the app, and from there, it'll kind of tie everything together. So let's start in the home position. Here's your number one. That shows you your one cup, two for your two cup, there for your hot water. This for milk control system or hot water, depending if your milk control, you have that or not. And this is when you're in the lever control of the machine. So I'm just going to put over the one cup here, push the button, and you'll see the flow rate 
over here, and you'll see so this graph goes across how it changes. Now let's go down to info. This is all the information on the machine. This shows you what your steam boiler temperature, your brew boiler temperature, uh, your firmware uh, number and your serial number and some other things down here that we don't call all that much about for right now. Uh, total counters, well, let's, those are not resettable. You have your partial counters, those you can reset. So if you want to keep track of how many coffees and how many hot water dispensings you're doing. And over here, your flow profiles, these are the ones that are uploaded to the machine right now. There's your one cup and your two cup. So let's change one, just show you how to do that. So let's say we want some pre-infusion with this one here. So right now we're at 10 grams per second. We'll lower it down to let's say two grams per second. We'll get a long one for five seconds. We'll set that, we'll upload it. Now 10 is a bit much, but we'll just say, we'll just pretend for the sake of argument, we like that one right now. And so that's uploaded to the machine. Now we want to save it and name it. So we'll name it. Let's say, we'll just call it sweet. And then over here you can get, put any kind of description you want. If we have, I'll put 17 in, and we'll say 32 out. And we'll give it a face. Eh, it was okay. So we just save that to the archives. That, so that is now down in the library, which is over under my profiles. So here's all the profiles. There's the sweet one we just made. So from here, you can take any of these profiles and you'll make your own, of course. Hit that, hit upload. That sends it up to the machine. So that went from the library, which is called My Profiles, to Flow Profiles. These are the ones in the machine. So you just send up whichever ones you want to use and you can use that. So let's keep going down. Here's your setup information. Not a lot to do in here, um, except for changing your boiler temperatures. So right now we're at 120. I can write up the steam boiler temperature. I'll put it to 121. I can make my group temperature a little bit hotter. We're at 93. Let's go up to 93.5, hit set, and hit upload. We've now uploaded those temperatures. And down here, this tells you which button or which profile the lever is going to be in control of. Right now the lever is in control of the one cup. If I want to change it to the two cup, hit upload. Now the lever, when you put this over to lever position, this will run the profile from the two cup. And so when you're using it, you can go down one click. That'll give your first stage, see the first light? That'll give your second stage, third, fourth, and fifth, and so on. And you can always go back down to your first stage if you'd like to. Uh, so that gives you the option. If you want to set, say, a profile at different grams, let's say two, four, six, eight, and 10, you can manually switch between which flow rate you want to make the coffee use uh, exactly what you're looking for. And we have some other stuff here. We have the, the reset here. You can reset your partial counters, look at your alarm history, and then there's another thing down here. You can reset your digital flow regulator uh, to an auto calibration. And you can also reset the digital flow regulator which is not quite an auto, uh, auto calibration, but just resets it. And so that's kind of it for the app. Um, like I said, we'll go in depth at another time. I just wanted to see how it worked. So now you can understand the basics on the machine, the basics on the app. You should be able to be good to go and use it. Uh, if you have any comments you want to place, please place the comments, ask any questions you want. We're here on the phone if you want to give us a call. Uh, I'm Todd with Whole Lot Tale of, and that's Breaking the Mystique on the Mina. Want to learn more? Subscribe now so you'll know about the latest videos on everything coffee from Whole Latte Love.